Hello Cancer, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your November, yeah that's right, November 2019 mini tarot reading. I don't know where this year has gone, it's flown by so fast. I just wanted to take a moment and say happy Thanksgiving to all of those in, of you that are in the States, all the military folks and their families, and those of you who celebrate, whether you be in the States or not. Um, it's my favorite holiday and we do a lot of cooking and eating around here at that time of the year. So. Three of Pentacles. Ooh, looks like things are coming together. But let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you, Cancer. Please remember this is a general reading, and if you'd like one just about you, please stop by my website. I've included that link down below. Get yourself an appointment, and we'll get to it as quickly as we can. Also, you might want to check out Instant Go. I've included that link down below. Is if you have just a question or two, it seems to work really quite well. So I hope that uh, you can take a peek there. Thank you too for liking and sharing my videos, subscribing, liking us on Facebook, because none of this would be possible without you. So I just wanted to make sure I thanked you for that. So let's see what's coming up for you, Cancer. Oh my goodness, first card we got, Sun card. Everybody get happy. I think that's a real possibility here. It says that what you think about, especially in the joy area, is for you too. It's, I know it's important, like especially with moms and dads, you have kids, you want your kids happy. This says joy for everybody, sun card. So it looks like there's going to be either some good news or a change. This is for families. I guess it could be for those alone too. But it just seems like there's going to be finally some joy here. Okay, long overdue and long deserved. So claim it. Stand up and claim it for yourself. It says things falling into place for choices that are made that were made in March and April. Wow, are going to pay off for you. I feel it's March and April or three months ago, something like that. But those choices are going to bring you... Um, positive victory. You're happy. Everybody's happy. Alms dispense with justice means finances will be fine. And it says there's been a change in the financial way money is handled I, in a good way. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe you're saving a little bit. Maybe you're changing your spending habits. Whatever it is, it just seems like so many things are going to be better for you this month. Apprenticeship means you've learned how to deal with things. You've learned how to deal with people. It says that, um, but keep doing it. Don't, don't let this be a fad. <laughs> it's like, so whatever this is for you, um, keep doing it. Oops, excuse me here. I've got a hair right in my face. Um, your intuition is right on the money this month. And it says that, you know, with the money that is there or the love, energy, whatever it is, keep going because you certainly deserve it. It's well, well, well deserved for you. It says preparedness in reverse. It means you look back how you were before and how things are now. Those of you that were, were, and I said were alone before, maybe you've met somebody or maybe you've decided that you want to meet somebody. Those of you that are single, this could be a month where that uh, could certainly be put into uh, action, so to speak, helping you be at the right place, right time. Um, let your friends and family know that you're ready now because you're going to meet somebody and I have a and you'll meet them when you're supposed to but you got to kind of get out of the house to do that you know like go to family gatherings go to the market go wherever you need to go and just 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 be be with friends and such it says there's a lot going on here this month for you getting ready for the end of the year and the holiday it says this is a time when the choices you've made before have brought you what you have now in a way I, I hope I said that properly for you to understand because it's really good it says you've learned how to stand up for yourself in a very positive way looks like the uh, family energy has just had an improvement of some kind and I feel like it's peacefulness just a peacefulness in that area for a lot of you maybe you walked away from a relationship that wasn't uh necessarily good for you or you had a lot of upheaval but I just feel like there's peace either on the way or already here and kind of a uh, a joyful feeling and it says remember you're a chariot one who achieves greatness don't give up now for those of you that are going through the change and see that the the light there at the end of the tunnel so to speak keep going because the wheel of fortune is yours it looks like there's a like a new phase an ending and a new beginning for a lot of things and then the, the beginning is much better. It says you've paid your dues, you've asked for what you want, you know, and it's time now to, um, <clears throat> how do I, I want to say, ask what the lesson is rather than, oh my God, why is this happening to me? Because I think you're going to continue forward and see that with the tiniest little bit of gratitude, it's going to bring you sunshine and, and wishes granted. It says you're going to be making some more choices now, but do them fearlessly. I mean, you know, don't do them haphazardly, but 
think about what you need to do. Do I need to turn left? Do I need to turn right? Whichever it is, you can't choose wrong. It says you're going to call on the strength that you have deep within you, like you have all year, and you're going to make some choices for yourself. It says that storm that you already went through, and that's not for everybody. You are victorious, whether you feel it or not. You're going to see shortly, if not. Those of you that are waiting for something legal, kind of a judgment or a, I don't know, court case, it says it's going to go in your favor, even if that means it's delayed or dropped. I, I'm not sure what that means, but stop worrying about things you can't change. Be more here in the present. And it says you're nobody's fool. Don't keep, don't keep walking through the doubt and the grief and the what ifs. It says you can move forward with your head held high. And of course, is that for everybody? I sure hope it is. But it says the choices you've made continue to move forward because things are changing for you. They've already started. And it's almost like you get an aha moment, like, yeah, I get this. This is much easier than I thought it was. And that whatever pain there was before, I'm not saying it just disappears because it no, never totally disappears for sadness, you know, bankruptcy, illness, death, whatever. But we learn to um, move forward. And you do that when you're ready. And it says that a lot of you are ready now. You've been praying and asking for guidance, open to receive it because it's right before you. It says that sadness from the past. It says it can't be forgiven. It says it doesn't have to be forgiven. It doesn't have to be forgotten. But man, if you could let it go, this is going to be the ending of a good, it, the, the year is going to end up good for you and it's going to set the pace for what's going on for you next year. A lot of talk is needed. It might be um, with a friend. It could be with a counselor. But it, whoever it is, it says you're going to be doing a lot of talking. Maybe you're going to do some soul searching and, and release and let go. Focus on what's left rather than gone. And you're going to see a big difference for yourself by the end of this month and the beginning of next month. But man, you're going to start the new year out on a new foot. And blessings to you all. I so appreciate you dropping by. Happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you again next month.